In the store settings page, you will need to set up your business information in order to be ready to sell your products on Spocket. First, we have the account settings where details including your shop name and your contact information can be found. You can also change your password at the bottom part. The next step is to complete your getting paid page. This is important in order to receive payouts for your orders. First, fill out the required fields in the Stripe section until you see the account verified badge. Stripe may ask you to provide identification documents in order to approve your account. Then, move on to registering your PayPal account until the You're All Set Up badge appears. When providing your information, both Stripe and PayPal will redirect you to a secure landing page outside of the Spocket dashboard for your security. On the other hand, the Payment History section lets you download your payment history by clicking this button. Next, we have Shipping. Here you'll be able to set flat shipping rates for both domestic and international shipments. The first column is the base rate for the first item. The incremental costs are added for every additional item in the same order. Lastly, is the estimated delivery time from the time the order is placed until it is delivered to the customer's doorstep. If you want to exclude certain countries, you can do so here by simply typing them into the field. Lastly, we have our refund policy. It is very important that you specify your policy as it can help minimize any issues that a retailer may face for returns or refunds. Once all your settings have been saved, you'll be able to publish your products on the spot the marketplace. That's all for this video. We'll see you in the next one.